A group under the aegis of Waka Community International Foundation has advised Nigerians to gauge in more walks, to boost their health and to be able to live longer. The group made the call during a road health walk organized in honor of late chairman, Lagos State Health Management Agency Board, Dr. Adetokumbo Alakija. The foundation, which also carried out a demonstration of cardio pulmonary resuscitation and first aid said the action is driven by its conviction to educate Nigerians as well as the world to take personal responsibility for their wellness by walking and eating right as well as getting enough quality sleep. Founder Waka Community International Foundation Lorenzo Mba said walking has many benefits such as helping to maintain a healthy weight and helping to lose unwanted and undesirable fat. And what makes this year's edition important, Director General of Nigeria Conservation Foundation, Dr. Joseph Onoja, said Dr. Alakija's life was an illustration of everything impactful. Not everybody can jog, but everybody can walk up. And again, walking is a low-impact activity. So for those that have arthritis running in their families, you better be careful. Jogging is not bad, but as you get older, and as you are, if you're getting as older, as old as people like me are and older, you want to pay attention to the impact on your knees and your ankles. And jogging is not the ideal thing at that point. Waka, walking is low impact, so it's fun. So as a board member, we thought that, I mean, as, a, as NCF, as an organization, we thought that we should come out uh, to work with his, um, his, his family and his um, organization, the Q Life, and all other people that he was associated with when he was alive. It's quite instructive to know that during the, the work last year, the edition of the work last year, he was part of the work. So that was why we thought that it was necessary to come and uh, use this opportunity to honor a very um, honorable man. We have trained many organizations, more than 4,500 in Lagos on how to respond to emergencies. So those who participated in this work also gained the benefit of getting the tips. But it's also a clarion call, especially to you, the press, to call people's attention on the need to conduct CPR and first aid training for their staff, for individuals, for churches, because that alone can provide 50% chances of survival. He was very passionate about walking, um, and so this is in his memory, in loving memory, he would have turned 66 tomorrow. And yeah, it's been amazing, a great turnout, great people, and so pleased um, for all that it's been today.